What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube, and today we are in the brand new 2023 Lexus UX250 Hybrid, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, plenty of changes for the 2023 UX. First off, being that there is now a front wheel drive variant of the UX250 Hybrid, so that's going to start at a lower price as well so this thing's actually less expensive than the 2022 model year which is basically unheard of these days but of course you get 40 plus miles per gallon as well in either setup that you go with so that is pretty darn good as well but ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always Let's start with pricing. And so there will be several different trim levels for the 2023 UX250 Hybrid. First one being the base starting at $36,490, much less than last year. Premium, which actually is the one we have today, starting at $38,950. F Sport Design for $38,950. And F Sport Handling then for $43,920. And so that was all pricing for the front wheel drive setup. Because like I said, front wheel drive is now available, but you can get all wheel drive on any of those trim levels like we have today. If you wanted to do that, simply add $1,400 then to any of those prices. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a two liter Atkinson cycle four cylinder with two electric motors, putting out 181 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 221 pound-feet of torque coming in at 3,000 RPM. Power sent to front wheels or all wheels through a CVT zero to 60 time, differing slightly coming in at 8.0 four seconds for the front wheel drive 8.6 seconds then for the all-wheel drive top speed if you're interested comes in at 110 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 43 in the city 41 on the highway for the front wheel drive 41 in the city then 38 on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking regular unleaded fuel so that's something i want to emphasize because most luxury manufacturers almost always require premium fuel but you actually get to save some money with the ux250 hybrid so you only have to fill it up with the cheap stuff so that's pretty cool and so but anyways before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our ux i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes there's actually like this little stock kind of thing coming out uh just above the gauges there it's going to give you normal eco sport and ev mode as well adjusting things like the throttle response is steering sensitivity all-wheel drive system engagement then as well so now have you got all of that out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and flip this up to sport it actually adjust the gauges too I forgot to mention that that's pretty cool actually I can noticeably tell a heavier steering feel too I like that but anyways getting off topic usually I do a paddle shifter test at this point but I did want to mention paddle shifters are only available on the F sport handling trim level so therefore we don't have them today so I can't test them out but anyways let's go ahead and find a straight Right away let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 ux250 hybrid here up to speed all right in three two one go baby Alrighty. <laughs> all right it's all right definitely not the quickest thing in the world but i just got off driving an is350 so Maybe that spoiled me a little bit before driving this one. So 8.6 seconds, it should be enough to merge you onto the highway, but again, definitely not the quickest thing in the world. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 11.1 inch solid rear discs. As far as this six easier stopping distance goes, it actually comes in at a relatively impressive 117 feet. So just to test out the braking here, it feels really good yeah instantly brings you to a stop in this thing and that's not always the case in hybrids and electric vehicles for whatever reason so i do like the braking a lot in this thing again 117 feet that sports sedan good actually most sedans come in at 120s if not 130s so 117 feet that is plenty fine for the ux250 hybrid so no issues there but anyways touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension and actually exactly the same in the 
the back. Independent McPherson strut rear suspension, gas pressurized shock absorbers, but actually Lexus has said for 2023 there is improved ride quality and handling because they have retuned the suspension setup slightly for the 2023 model year. So did want to mention that. Also wanted to mention you will get adaptive damping suspension if you were to go with that F-Sport handling and that is new for the 2023 model year as well. So essentially what that is, is it's gonna monitor each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road of perfections, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, giving you the best of both worlds. Not something that we have with us here today, but still having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in normal driving mode. So far, as far as my short test drive goes here, ride quality has been perfectly fine. You don't always get that in the vehicle of this size. So <laughs> did wanna say that it's been perfectly fine for me today. As far as steering feel goes, it's kind of loosey-goosey in that normal driving mode, and of course it's going to be the same way in Eco, but it is a noticeably heavier steering feel in the sport driving mode, so I will say that I do like how it handles in the sport driving mode because you can certainly tell the difference there. As far as cabinoix goes, that's been perfectly fine on my short test drive here today. I will say the engine does tend to get a little bit loud at higher RPMs, but other than that, there's no wind noise whatsoever. There's very, very little road noise. That is great. It's just the engine noise gets up a little bit louder in the higher the RPMs that you get, which makes sense for the engine that it has in it. But anyways, then touching on visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine, excellent visibility here in the UX without a doubt. Usually smaller vehicles, you're not gonna have any issues though. Did wanna mention though, with the premium trim level and up like we have today, you actually get rain sensing windshield wipers. So if it were to start even drizzling right now, the UX would detect any kind of missed rainfall and automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So that is pretty darn cool and there is an optional head-up display for an additional nine hundred dollars and let me tell you guys it is without a doubt the brightest head-up display i think that i have ever seen to date and it's massive it's huge it gives you kind of like the the lines on the road to the very left so it's going to kind of show you if you're centered in the lane it gives you your speed limit it gives you your rpms it gives you everything, man. Speed limit indicator, safety features. It is a very bright and a very nice looking head up display I'm currently looking at. So that is absolutely wonderful. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Lexus UX250 Hybrid. All right, and so here she is, you guys. The new 2023 Lexus UX250 Hybrid finished in cloudburst gray. In case you were curious of our exterior color name, I think it looks pretty darn good, but let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. As always, taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter J, indicating that the UX250 Hybrid is built and assembled in Japan, another JDM. So that's pretty cool, because that isn't always the case. A lot of uh, Toyotas are made in the US, or Lexus are made in the US, so uh, it's cool to see that they're made in Japan. Anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Lexus spindle front grille, of course, as to be expected. Uh, one of the changes, another change for the 2023 model year is you guys could tell there's no blue Lexus emblem anymore up front. It is now black to kind of better tie in together with the front grille. I always thought that was a little bit odd. It kind of, uh, it did differentiate itself, but it didn't quite look right, the blue emblem. So I do definitely like the black emblem on the hybrids now. So that's just my personal opinion. But to the sides and the corners there, you got front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination to the sides for all trim levels. By LED headlights do come standard with LED daytime running lights, of course. Automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark in the night, headlights will turn on automatically for you there. And automatic high beams then as well. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams then. But that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the UX. All right, so we're now starting all the way to the top. You guys will see there's aluminum roof rails. They actually do come standard for all trim levels across the board. Chrome window surrounds also coming standard. Taking a look at the side mirrors. They are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will also be heated with LED integrated turn signals then as well with a little bit of current accenting on them. So that definitely looks good too. Another thing I wanted to kind of emphasize here because you, a lot of times we won't see this is you guys can see there are very prominent fender arches surrounding the wheels. And a lot of times, even with luxury manufacturers, that'll be like a matte black, but I love that they're body colored here because it gives it much more of a very high end look. So I did want to overlook that, but last year also there was some hybrid badging found on the rear doors. That is no longer the case. So I wanted to point that out as well. You're going to get some F-Sport badging 
gouging on the front fenders if you were to go with one of the F Sport trims, of course. And then take a look down at the wheel setup. 18 inch double five spoke alloys are gonna come standard on the base and the premium. That of course is what you guys are looking at, but then 18 inch F Sport specific alloys of course, coming with the F Sport. So that pretty much rounds out the side profile here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back, all the way to the top, body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that, rear window wiper. You do have some LED taillights with kind of like the wing effect at the corners. If I get down at the right angle, guys can kind of see there is kind of like a, a swoop up there. So kind of like a fighter jet kind of wing to the taillights. I love that look. I think it's so unique and it looks different than all the other vehicles out there right now. But anyways, let me go ahead and get down to the very bottom here because you do have a single exhaust exhaust outlet kind of tucked away on the bottom passenger side in the back there so having said that this is a hybrid I don't know if it's gonna work it should work but as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the UX, when it comes to opening that rear hatch there, it is actually a power tailgate that does come standard. So I 100% love that. There's a button on the key fob. There's a rubberized button on the hatch itself. Again, it's power tailgate, so it's gonna automatically open and close for you, but it's also a button by the kind of uh, driver's side left shin then from the driver's position as well. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 21.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. There is some LED cargo lighting back there, so I like to emphasize that because that's not always the case. Even in the IS350, it's halogen bulbs in the cargo area, so I like that there's LEDs back there. First aid kit, as Lexus always does as well. You got some tie-down anchors. There's plenty of grocery bag hooks, which is pretty cool back there. 12-volt power outlet, and one of my favorite parts, though, you never see this. You got in-floor storage. You do see that, but then within the in-floor storage, you got in-floor storage. So that's then a second level, kind of like a basement of in-floor storage that's compartmentalized at that. So yeah, you got the basement in-floor storage, which is pretty darn cool. But anyways, then make our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 33.1 inches for reference. I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard. Rear ventilation back there as well. And you also got dual phone charging ports for the rear passenger. So I'm a big fan of that. But so then making our way up to the front seats, eight-way power adjustable front seats do come standard. New Lux upholstery is gonna come standard on this thing, but heated and ventilated front seats come on the premium that we have today and the F Sport handling those two particular trim levels so I'm super glad we got this one because it is freezing out today in the 30s so I got my heated steering wheel I got my heated seats but anyways memory settings coming with the F Sport handling trim level only and then F Sport bolstered front seats of course coming with the F Sport handling trim level only but having said that I've said this a thousand times F Sport specific seats with the bolstering they're my most comfortable seats to this day Maybe the new Integra would give that a little bit of competition, but still, even these seats right now, they're plenty comfortable. So my short test drive today, some of the most comfortable seats out there. So no issues there, but then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tel and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for every single trim level across the board. Gotta love that. And if you wanted a heated steering wheel, it is a $150 option and we do have it and I'm loving it. But anyways, then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your lock, unlock the button to pop the rear tailgate there, but it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the climate control information there. But so then once started up, when it comes to the gauges, there's essentially two different gauge clusters. You got your F Sport specific gauge cluster, which is a spiral by the LFA it slides to the left and the right and that's really cool but then you got the gauge cluster that you're looking at right now which is also fairly darn cool so it's all digital basically it's got a large digital speedometer front and center you got your uh, kind of battery charge indicator kind of surrounding that it's kind of a 3d effect too which I think was pretty cool and all of your information can be found to the uh, left hand side there's steering wheel mounted controls on the left side giving you things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty average mpgs there's a compass your radio information some safety features the list goes on so pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital 
portion of the gauges. And let's not forget about the very brightest head-up display available that I've ever seen right now as well. So another place you can look at all that information as well. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. There is a power moonroof for the premium trim level and up. So therefore we got it. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls for the premium and F sport handling. Wireless phone charger goes for 75 buckaroos and that is located just in front of the uh, cup holders there. Washi material, this is one of my favorite parts. So this is a Japanese company, of course, being Lexus, and it's built and assembled in Japan. And you got a lot of Japanese influence within this thing, which I love. So you got this washi interior trim kind of found just above the passenger side glove box, just behind the infotainment screen and uh, just above the air vents as well. So I absolutely love that, but I also love the door handles because they are not just regular door handles. They're kind of inspired by a samurai sword. So that of course is another kind of Japanese accent that they threw into the uh, UX250 here and I 100% love it. But just in front of the shifter, you have a couple phone charging ports. Again, the wireless phone charger, dual cup holders. You got that EV mode just behind the shifter, of course. And within the center armrest, there's a little bit of storage, just not a ton, but you got a 12 volt power outlet and USB charging port within there as well so overall again the reason i love the interior quality is because of the washi interior trim and the samurai door handles but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech because the tech is all new for the 2023 model year for the ux and so you have a new eight inch color touchscreen display that comes standard on the base the premium and the f sport design but there is a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display available for the premium coming standard on the f-sport handling and that is currently the one you guys are looking at right now and it looks absolutely amazing bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard but one of my favorite parts yet again wireless android auto apple carplay to this day i would say 90 percent of vehicles are still wired for that Android Auto Apple CarPlay. A lot of them will do wireless Apple CarPlay, but it's very rare you're gonna get wireless Android Auto, but the UX has it, so that is pretty darn cool. So my Android isn't left out, but factory navigation system up there as well, climate control settings, radio information, of course, as well. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. Six speakers are gonna come on the base premium and F-Sport design, but you will get 10 speakers if you were to go with that F-Sport handling. So. Having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Boy, it is a bunch of liars, because if that's a six speaker sound system, that is dang good. That did not sound like a six speaker sound system. That sounded like a minimum eight, if not the 10 speaker, probably is the 10 speaker sound system. Hang on. Nope, I had to check because that is an incredible six speaker sound system. I just checked the window sticker. It says six speaker, so I ain't gonna lie with it, but that didn't sound like a six speaker sound system. Like I said, that sounded like an eight speaker sound system or a 10 speaker sound system. That was incredible bass, really good clarity. Maybe it's because of the size of the UX isn't really all that big, but the sound system worked very, very well for the UX without a doubt. So absolutely no complaints for me. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen at least is when you do put the UX in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board which as always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the UX250 Hybrid is an IIHS top safety pick, which is plenty fine. That's really good right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard, driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard will be Lexus Safety System Plus 2.5. What is that? Let me tell you. Pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane trace assist, lane departure alert with steering assist, road sign assist, dynamic radar, cruise control, and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the UX, I still can't get over this insanely bright head up display that's gonna assist with forward visibility so well and it just looks dang cool. So I like that. Great miles per gallon. You get 40 miles per gallon in this thing, which is incredible as well. And it takes regular fuel. That's even better. Save your money, man. Invest in crypto, not financial advice, but F-Sport seats are incredible as well. I love the comfort on that. JDM interior quality. I like the washi material. I like the samurai sword door handles. Stellar reliability. I'm telling you guys, 
go to Walmart, go to a grocery store, pick up a Consumer Reports magazine, look at the reliability for the UX, and you will see that it is flawless. It's like the Prius. It's flawless reliability. So you know this thing's going to last over 200,000 miles, so I like that. Uh, constructive criticism, it's a bit slow. Not, not the quickest thing in the world, so... I don't know, it's just slow, but honestly, if that's the only constructive criticism I got, that's really not all that bad, and that really is only constructive criticism that I got. So anyways, let me know what you guys, you, think in the comment section below of the UX, and that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media stuff if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. There you go.